DP here, Dan Patrick on the Rich Island Show. A few more minutes remembering our, our good friend Stuart Scott. Um, and then just his love of life, if we can spend a couple minutes on that. I mean, just his love of life and love of love and wanting people to be together and happy. And, you know, I, I can personally speak to that, as you know, too, uh, who I'm married to and who I met there at, uh, at ESPN. And, and um, you all were at my wedding. And uh, you were behind the... Uh, the bar during the photograph portion of everything, and you were you were mixing drinks for everybody. Was Stuart involved in that process too, Dan? What's going on there? I, he might have because he might have been competitive and say that he could make a better <laughs> drink than me. I have no idea. <laughs> I remember that. But I always I, I always tell people the one story that I'll always remember working with him was this Sunday night, mm-hmm. and. We're, they're playing the, the beginning of Sports Center, the theme music. Stewart would always be putting drops in his eyes because of his yes, eyesight, right. bad eyesight. And he put in drops and got up and left the set. So we're in the beginning where, dun, 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 and, and he gets up and leaves. Now, I know in the next 14 seconds, we're going to be on camera. <laughs> he goes off. His scripts are right there in front of me. <laughs> and I come out on camera. Did you read it? <laughs> on a Sunday night. And I now have to do the first 15 minutes of Sports Center. And that means I have to do his highlights in his words and is on cameras. Can I get a witness from the congregation? Pookie, Ray Ray, and Lucretia. All of them. Yeah, and, they were all there. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then, so I read his highlights and my highlights. We got to the commercial. He comes back on, doesn't say anything, and then he doesn't say anything. We we go back on camera, yeah. and people were like, what happened? Right. And we had to then, once we got done with the show, go back and do the entire, what, what's the A block, the first 15 minutes, right. because Stuart lost his contact lens, oh. and I did, I did his portion and my portion in the first 15 minutes. Oh. Could you imagine if there was Twitter then? I mean, we would have that that would be preserved forever. I could be able to call that up right now in the palm of my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. So he never said yeah, anything to you and then he never said anything? He never said, "Hey, this no. would happen?" Huh. No. But, Until after the show. Yeah. And uh, you know, he said he didn't even say it to me. He said it to somebody else about, you know, he'd lost a contact lens. But I you know, it's one of those where you go, I don't know where he's going. And then you're like, uh, welcome to Sports Center. And uh, and you had Stewart's pile of papers over there. Oh, yeah. They would, and, and he would scroll. Every, I mean, he'd be scrolling his, his, his catchphrases on, on all of his shot sheets. So so you said, hi, I'm Dan Patrick, and I'm Stuart Scott? Or, I mean, because. No, no, I didn't do that. I okay. just said, you know, I, I think I just said, hi, I'm Dan Patrick, and welcome to Sports Center. And then it set up on prompter, you know, hi, I'm Dan Patrick, alongside Stuart Scott. And, yeah. you know, so I just breezed through that. And then I just went into my first read. Because my producers in my ear just said, just you know, just go to camera one. We'll just start the Sports Center, and then I got done with my highlights, and then I realized I had to go on camera, read what Stewart wrote, not knowing what Stewart wrote, because I was seeing it for the first time live on the prompter, on TV in front of the you know couple million people. So I guess it, it, you and, were you and you so you handled it. You were cooler than the other side of the pillow, in other words, Dan. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah. it is I don't next know if I was. level. No, so but it's funny because you you that that wasn't expected. There were times though that Stewart would would and I would try and uh, hose the other at the end of a show. That was the beginning of the show. We would we noticed that there was one anchor on the air. I'll just say his name. Uh, I don't care. Bob Stevens, if you remember, uh, where Big Bo- Show Bob. Big Show Bob, because one time when Keith <laughs> Keith did a show from. Shea Stadium, I think it was on the night that Jackie Robinson was being honored and everybody would now have to retire number 42. Bob did the show with you and we were all wondering, hey, he just got there. How come we can't get that seat? Which again, pissed Stuart <laughs> off uh, that I was complaining about it. But anyway, we noticed that Bob would have the tendency in the last segment, like how many seconds we got? 50 seconds, 35 seconds, and the producer would say in your ear, okay, there's 50 seconds, you're tossing a baseball tonight, all that sort of stuff, and that's how you're going to get off the air. We noticed that Bob would have the tendency to take the entire time himself. 
and thank you as as well as a viewer and say good night yeah. and you would just sit there nodding your head the entire time so Stuart and I would know we would say how many how much who's going to end the show how much time's left and we would give each other a furtive glance that we're going to big show the other and once the producer said all right Stuart you take it I'd be like oh, oh come on now and he would take the entire 50 to 60 to 70 seconds sometimes and I just have to sit there and nod and say for Rich Eisen I'm Stuart Scott. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we'd handle that. Good show, Bob. Yeah. Oh my gosh. yeah. There's nothing worse than sitting on camera, nodding your head mm. like you're the RCA Victor dog <laughs> while somebody is on camera and they're just talking mm. for a good 30 Cause then, seconds. Because then you got to look at the nodded. other one. You, sometimes you look at them and you nod at them and then you nod back at the camera. And then you look and, at the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a, a science to it. Yep, we've all been there before. Uh, DP. Um, yeah, well, hanging, hanging somebody out to dry. <laughs> hey, um, thank, I, I didn't even get to any sports talk. I, I knew we wouldn't, but it's all good. Um, That's all right. Thanks for doing this. I just figured, you know what, let's get, you know, you're, you're, you're the only one I could think of. Uh, let's talk about Stu and his legacy and send it out there and let's everybody um, – Go again to v.org slash Stuart Scott and raise as much money for the Stuart Scott Memorial Cancer Research Fund. Thanks for the thanks for taking part, DP. All right, buddy. Take Talk care, pal. You, you got it. That's Dan Patrick. Watch again his show before ours every day. Listen to it every day before ours uh, on audience, Fox Sports Radio, etc. That's right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Again, v.org slash Stuart Scott. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.